Moin ihr wunderbare Menschen des Interwebs, ich begrüße euch ganz herzlich zurück zu meinem Let's Play von The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Susato ist wieder da, zumindest hoffe ich, dass wir gleich mit ihr ähm, reden können und dass das nicht nur eine Vorstellung von mir war, aber nein, Iris hat das ja schon bestätigt, dass Susato wieder da ist. Aber warum ist sie jetzt wieder da? Also warum hat ihr ihr Vater jetzt erlaubt, wieder zurückzukommen? Da würde ich gerne einmal mehr nachhaken. Oh, this room. It's been too long. It hasn't changed in the slightest, though. And it's been some six months, hasn't it? That's a long time for things to stay so familiar. I didn't know when you might return, and I wanted everything to be as you left it. But it has been some six months, it's true. So is your father right, Susie? What happened? My father? Yes, Professor Mikotoba. I mean, it was half a year ago, but that's why you went back to Japan. Because of the telegram you received saying he'd fallen ill with a very high fever for some unknown reason. That's right. So I was surprised to learn you'd be coming back so soon. Surprised but happy. I think I wrote about it in my letter to you, that, that it was all a trick. My father is in fine health, and I'm obviously very relieved about that. Well, we are all delighted to have you back. It was quite by accident that I've been able to return to Europe, actually. It's because of a very grand conference called the International Forensic Science Symposium. The International Forensic... that's the same symposium Lord Strongheart mentioned. Anyway, I've arrived safe and sound, and all that matters it is that I'm here now. After all, I haven't yet fulfilled my promise to you, Iris. You must tell us everything that happened while you were back in Japan. Yes, of course, I shall. And there's one other thing. Something you wrote in your letter that particularly grabbed my attention. About you-know-who. About Kazuma. I know. I will tell you all that I can. Was? 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 Wir fangen mal Kazuma an. After my friends, after my friend raised trial, the reporter who actually killed Miss Brett said something very strange. I know the truth. I know you had a hand in what went on in that visiting student's fate. Nobody here in Japan knows anything about it. They don't know that the guy never made it to England, that he died on that steamship, and that he will never... Obviously, I couldn't ask him to elaborate that at that time, but later I visited the man in, the, in his prison cell and asked him what he was going to say about Kazuma-sama. And what did you learn? After he died on the voyage to Great Britain, his body should have been unladen at the port of Hong Kong and passed into the care of the consulate staff there. Should have been? Well, it turns out that his body never arrived. It just disappeared. What? Kazuma's body vanished? Our government tried to cover the fact up, it seems. They erected a grave on the cliffs by our own, by our hometown, except Kazuma-sama isn't there. Did, did Professor Mikotoba know about this? Yes, it would seem that he did, but he didn't tell me. They are still investigating what happened to Kazuma-sama's body as we speak. I, I just don't believe it. And what is this acute feeling of apprehension I have all of a sudden? Also, also, kann das tatsächlich Kazuma sein? Ja, der Lehrling von Van Sieks? Das ist, also, jetzt bin ich wirklich absolut überzeugt davon, dass das Kazuma ist. Jetzt ist nur die Frage, warum er auf der Seite der Staatsanwaltschaft steht und was da mit ihm passiert ist. Thinking back now, some of the things that happened on the, on the SS Beria were definitely strange. I mean, after he died, we never saw his body again, did we? Yeah, yeah. Etwas, was ich schon, was ich gesagt habe. Yeah, we konnten ja nie seine Leiche sehen. Could it be? 
Could it be that he's actually still alive? Stop it, Mr. Naruhoro. It's too much to bear. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Just thinking about the possibility pains me so very much. Cast your mind back for a moment, Mr. Naruhoro. When Kazuma-sama was discovered, Mr. Shoms was there, wasn't he? And he definitely examined the body. I remember it clearly. You... you're right. So if Kazuma hadn't actually been dead at all, it would mean that Mr. Shoms had lied to us. But there's no reason why he would possibly have done such a thing. Ach nee, komm. Der hat so viele Geheimnisse vor, vor uns. Ja, wir dürfen nicht über den Fall von Hound of the Basketballs mehr erfahren. Wir sollen da nicht weiter nachforschen. Wir wurden da die ganze Zeit abgezogen. Als ob er in der Hinsicht nicht lügen würde, wenn er wüsste, wer Kazuma ist und in was genau er verwickelt ist oder drinsteckt oder was auch immer. Ich blick da immer noch nicht so ganz durch. I suppose that's true, yes. The idea that he might still be alive somewhere. It wants to fill me with hope, but I can't let it. Because if it turned out not to be true, then I would be back at the bottom of that awful pit of despair again. I am I'm terrified of what that might do to me. Oh, Miss Suzato. I know she's given the idea, the thought it deserves. It's Suzato-san we're talking about after all. So I probably shouldn't push it now. When I first arrived back in Japan, I really thought I'd never be allowed to return to Britain. But curiously, after that awful trial at the Supreme Court, Father's mood changed entirely. The awful, awful trial? Oh yes, for the murder of Cecile Brad. Oh, you dressed as a man then, didn't you, Susie? Oh, well, yes. Since women are forbidden in the courtroom, I had no choice. Oh, amazing! I wish I'd seen that. Don't you, Runo? Um, yes, I suppose so. I want to play it being a lawyer. I want I want to play it being a lawyer now. I could wear a false mustache maybe. I don't think any mustache could hide the fact that you're just ten year or ten years old, Iris. There's something else I've been wanting to ask you, Miss Suzato. It's about the real reason why Professor Mikotoba summoned you back to Japan. You said in your letter it was something to do with that convict's loot we found in Mr. Natsuma's lodgings. That's right, the very large dog collar we found with the B emblem on it. It seems Mr. Natsume included a drawing of the collar in the report he submitted about his time in Britain. I understand that when Father saw the report, he turned as white as a sheet. Why would that be then? Father came to Britain himself, of course, to study. It was some time ago now, but he stayed for six years. I can only imagine that something must have happened during that time. But if he refuses to tell me what it was, then I intend to find the answers for myself. And I've decided that I, for one, won't keep any more secrets. Oh, Susie. That's a very meaningful look Suzato-san's giving Iris there. Lord Strongheart mentioned something about the symposium too. I think he said that investigative authorities from 40 different countries would attend. Yes, and from Japan, my father and Judge Chigoku have been invited. It's something of an honor, I believe. Well, Professor Mikotoba is the leading expert in forensic medicine in our country after all. But who's the other person you mentioned? A judge, did you say? Yes, His Excellency, Judge Seshihiro. Seshiro Jigo, Jigoku. You've met him, Mr. Naruhoro. Last year, in the Supreme Court, you can't possibly have forgotten. Terrible... <clears throat> that terrible trial of yours when you were accused of murder. Uh, yes, I try to think of that as a positive turning point in my life these days. Well, it was Judge Jigoku who proceeded over the trial. 
If I'm perfectly honest, I would be happy never to see that man's face again in my life. Oh, well anyway, as father was invited to the symposium, he agreed to me returning to Britain too. He won't actually arrive until next month, but, well, I couldn't wait. So I pleaded with him, and in the end he agreed to me going on ahead. Yes, about the symposium, it seems as though Lord Strongheart has put in an awful lot of work to make it happen. It's obviously very important. I believe it is, yes. As I understand it, Lord Strongheart organized the entire event himself. I think he's hoping that by achieving exceptional resu results, he will get the job of Attorney General. The most senior position in the British justice system. He's hoping to use his power to create the world's finest policing instit institution. That's what father said anyway. Apparently, it's Lord Strongheart's lifelong ambition. Does Professor Mikotoba know Lord Strongheart personally then, I wonder? Actually, Lord Strongheart gave me a long speech all about this very subject only yesterday. But I sort of lost the will to live early on and didn't really listen to much of it. How trying for you. Cecile Brett, the woman whose unforgivable actions ended in me being wrongly accused of a crime I didn't commit. The murder of Dr. John H. Wilson. Yes, Cecile Brett, that's a name I won't forget for as long as I live. The extraordinary thing is though, it seems it's a name we should all forget. Sorry. Since the incident, our government's intelligence services have been investigating Miss Brett. But it turns out that an English woman by the name of Chisil Brett didn't actually exist. D didn't exist? But how can that be? It was a pseudonym. Her real name was Shin, and she wasn't a visiting student either. It, that was a front... A, a front? Who, who on earth was she then? Miss A. Shin. Her name is literally all our intelligence services have been able to ascertain about her. Nobody knows why or even how she came to be in Japan. It's a complete mystery. But, but that makes no sense. It's no easy task to be accepted as a foreign student anywhere. What could the woman have been up to? I'm afraid I really don't know. The only thing we can be sure of is that she had some business in our country that we don't yet understand. And now she's been killed, while all the questions surrounding her existence remain unanswered. I am afraid so. Hey, Shin. Who on earth was she? And why do I feel as though I've heard that name before somewhere? Ich bin mir nicht sicher, aber war der Name nicht auf der Liste? Ich, aber ich erinnere mich da nicht mal zu 100% dran. Aber es ist so schön, Susato wieder mit uns, ähm, bei uns zu haben. Es ist so toll. It must be about a year ago now. I wrote a really long story based on some of my father's own notes. It's about one of Hurley's greatest exploits. I called it the Hound of the Baskervilles. But then Mr. Shums forbade you from publishing it. And put the manuscript somewhere nobody could get their hands on it. So nobody knows anything about it apart from Hurley and I. But for some reason... You knew the title of it, didn't you, Susie? Oh, it sounds so exciting. The Hound of the Baskervilles. I should love to read it. And you wouldn't tell me how you'd come to know it. Yes, but I made you a promise that I would explain one day, didn't I? I think it's time. I'm only sorry I've had to keep it from you for so long, Iris. It was completely by accident that I came to know the title of your manuscript, Iris. It was a short while before we left Japan. I was cleaning father's study and I saw something on his writing desk. A large box of papers. There was a label affixed to the box that was written in English. It read... The Hound of the Baskervilles. What? My Baskerville story? Of course I had no idea what it was at the time, but father came in and... Suzato, what are you doing? Oh, father. Did you look at those papers? 
No, I, I simply read the label, that's all. Well, put it out of your mind. Sorry. Forget that you ever saw it and certainly don't tell anybody else about this. Do you understand? But what was Iris's manuscript doing in Japan? I have no idea. But when I heard Iris mention the word basketball that day, the title just slipped out. I would never have guessed that it was an unpublished account of one of Mr. Shum's exploits. When I returned to Japan, I asked father, father to explain, but he refused to answer any of my questions, and there was no sign of the big box in his office. That's really all I know about it. I have no doubt that father has a very good reason for being so secretive about it, but still... I made up my mind to explain myself to both of you. Well, thank you for being so honest, Susie. So, Mr. Narohoro, I'm ready to start investigating if you are. I've committed every detail about the case to memory. And Iris has told me about the disturbing happenings at the Vexwerk Museum as well. So, you're fully abreast of the situation already, Mr. Zato. I'd expected nothing less, to be honest. I would think our first part of call should be to investigate this Mr. Drabber. The engineer responsible for building the elaborate machine that was used to affect this extraordinary trick. Yes, a conjurer of sorts, by the sound of it, well known in the fields of science and magic. Then we need to go and arrest him. Well, yes, he must know the truth behind this case, so I agree we really do need to find the man. It sounds like it's a case of tracking someone down. Which is a job for the police, or a great detective. Are we supposed to guess who she might be thinking of? We don't have much time, so we need to get started straight away, I think. Good idea. Well, best of luck then. Oh, you're not coming today? I'm going to Brixton Road shortly for the herb market. But let me know later how you got on, won't you? That was a little abrupt. The pull of the herb market must be strong. Okay, good. Ah, ich freue mich so. Ich freue mich so, dass wir wieder mit Susato durch die Gegend laufen dürfen. Okay, äh, ich würde einmal sagen... Gute Frage, wo wir als nächstes hingehen, war. Ich meine, im Gefängnis eventuell könnten wir mit Dr. Herbrain, äh, Dr. Professor Herbrain reden. Und vielleicht wüsste er, wo der Ingenieur zu finden ist. Ansonsten würde ich auch nochmal im Museum vorbeischauen. Aber gucken wir mal. Damit werden wir uns auf jeden Fall im nächsten Part beschäftigen. Ich bedanke mich ganz herzlich fürs Zusehen. Hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß. Und wenn ihr mögt, sehen wir uns sehr, sehr gerne im nächsten Part wieder. Bis dahin. Ciao.